Welcome. Hi. I am on Instagram Hello. here. Hello, YouTube peeps. Johnny is on YouTube. I think you got me, didn't you? Uh, <laughs> I think so. so. Sorry, we are a little late. A little, sure. just a little bit. Hi, IG peeps. I so, hope everybody's good. Why are we late? Because we are late because we, we couldn't find these. It's like yes. they were misplaced. Listen, we were looking we, everywhere. Our Wi-Fi, ever since this weekend on the windstorm, has mm. been going in and out. Sean's mom is unfortunately in the hospital. Our house is haunted. Something um, fell. And it has just been a crazy day. Mm -hmm. um, but before we get started, we, if you missed yesterday, what, what did we do on YouTube yesterday? That was yesterday, kind of fun? what did we do? Oh, we did the um, kind of look back to some of our old videos, yes. some of our first and maybe just so, so we, long ago. We were on YouTube. For those of you who mm -hmm. don't know, we have a camera up here that broadcasts to yeah. YouTube for our YouTube friends. And yesterday, we kind of reacted to some of our first videos. Yeah. And in this video, I realized... This poor man has not done a project forever. I haven't. I so, did, it, and but we showed a couple that I did. We do. did. So, and when I mean a project, I mean just the chalking part. Yeah. Because he didn't prep or paint. Because no. He sits there and says, "I don't, I don't do, I don't know." I, I can't. I mean, I, I could. But... I could have. But... Um, so thanks for everyone for being patient. If you want to watch us on YouTube, I am mm -hmm. monitoring the questions. Let me pull yes, that indeed. up, Sean. Hi. Oh. Just a quick. There he is doing his thing. Turn it back to me. Yeah. Okay, but you don't so, um, I hope I'm centered. I can't okay. tell. Okay, so, and here is the deal, too. Um, if you guys didn't know this, we've had a lot of people on YouTube say your video quality isn't very good. Make sure you click this little gear icon on your computer. YouTube is putting all of our videos at 480p, which makes it not happy. No. But if you just change it here to 1080 at 60 frames per mm -hmm. second, you'll get a much better Muy bien. So um, if you are having problems, Instagram shouldn't be the case, but just in case. And I'll try to monitor the questions there. And Sean, what announcements do we have? Today was Fab First, okay. what does that mean? Fab First, which means they kind of tell us about what's going on uh, being the first of the month. I know you know it a little better than I do. Yep, here. Um, I will, so, should I switch you yep. around? Okay. So um, bear with me, my head is pounding um sean says i have a big old knot on my leg yeah, hello youtube um so the promotions there's a brand new starter kit so make sure that you look for that my designers on my team i will be sending out an email to you tomorrow club couture members should get it first thing in the morning the big thing is new designers if you sponsor new designers you get the chance to get some convention goodies but club couture members be looking for your email because club couture members for every hundred dollars you spend you get ten dollars off and that's in addition to our amazing we can't tell you other benefits so uh check back the new club launched and i'm trying to think if there was Let's anything see. else new club um for those who are looking at the next um incentive trip that came Ooh, out as well so yes. if you didn't see it it is oh you guys Puerto so Vallarta. Is, they don't get to see me on youtube but if you want to hold this this is oh, yeah. a, a uh yeah. i'll undo it in the back here so i can show it on youtube too yeah. this was sent to us as a christmas present yeah. from one of you guys one of our peeps and look at it it's so cute and it says i haven't seen any christmas cookies and he's got cookies he's got sprinkles yeah. all over his nose so sh thank you sean for doing this because yes. my head is it's no yeah, point, no. no. So anyway, um, the incentive trip that now everybody that is able to earn is to Puerto Vallarta to an all-inclusive adult only. And it's only been open a couple of years. I have a friend that went there. She said it is the bomb diggity and she can't wait to go back again. So we can't wait to hopefully earn it and go as yeah. well. Um, and last but not least, we will be sending out a... Um, email shortly mm -hmm. um seeing if you guys like the way we're doing our lives changing them up you know us we're always constantly proving we give this to sean let our dogs out that are already they waiting. gotta go bye bye they gotta go outside and go potty oh, fine. um yes they should be they've been out since he's left so we had the 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 comcast guy came up and he gave us a, a new modem although i'm watching my computer over here and it doesn't like what it's going on i think it's a power thing but mm -hmm. So hopefully everything is working well on, it doesn't look like it's work, happening over there, but I think it's just a monitor thing, I don't know. So what's, anyway. What's wrong? Oh, I see it go, that black, and everyone you see it go black, it's usually oh, yeah. because of, of a weird power thing. Yeah. I just did that. I don't know if it happens over there, so I don't know. Yeah, it's, it's a little jerky, so. Um... It's okay. 
Mm. We're looking fine. Well, we're fine. Okay. All right. So let's go ahead and have Sean explain what he's doing. Thank you, Instagram people. Yes, IGs. Um, so he's going to be making a project. And here you go. I'll bring these all over. Make okay. sure they're dry. I'm going to get these out of the way. Should we go light or dark up? That one definitely needs to be dry. Yeah, this um, one So you're going to go from the dark down to the light. Brenda, I did have an injection on... Monday? Tomorrow. Monday, but the injection site I need is way deep underneath my shoulder blade. Way deep, and they can't get to it, so they're recommending I get back into a massage therapist. Which you're going to, but unfortunately... Yes. Can't. So, sorry if I, my camera movements are not as good as Sean, or if I randomly... Um, drop you because of pain in my neck. Okay, so the lovely Ken did these beautiful ombre look of these boards that are from Arteza. And the paints we used are from Dixie Bell. This is that paint, I think this one's called Peony. Do you wanna hold up that one really quick just so we can show the board what yeah, it's gonna look like? So it's so, gonna look like this hanging. So basically all we did is I took the darker paint and then just ombre it down into white. So you got this really nice Isn't look. That so this one here is this Peony. The next one is called Mermaid Tail. Mermaid Tail. You want to show them that one up? Yep. And mm -hmm. you can see we still need to dry it there. So he's going to dry it here. We barely painted this one. And before. the last one, this is actually a very pretty color. This is their Flamingo. And it's actually going to go that, that, and then that. Okay. So Flamingo. Flamingo. And then for white, while Sean dries these, I'll get an up close to show you. Um, hey. Yes. You cannot focus on that. You have to focus on the project. I just saw so, a, a blip. That's why. Do it's you want me to turn of, the comments off? No, no, it's not comments. Okay. It's a blip. I see it went black. So do you want me to turn it off? Nope. It's, I'm good. Okay. So anyway, so we're going to go this route instead. Is that's the way he'd like to see it. So we're going to do that. Right? Am I doing that right? No. That. That. Roy G. Bit. Roy, so this one. Roy G. Biv. Red. Orange. Orange. There we go. There we go. That's what we're going to do. Oh, that's so much pleasing to the eye. Pleasing to the eye. So we're going to give this a quick dry so they are all ready to go. So I'm going to grab my hair dryer. Not going to use the quick dry because it doesn't have enough force to really get this nice and dry. So a little noise here. Sorry. I use that to get a nice thing. Now, um, should we wax or what do you think? How do you feel? So that's the question. Should we wax? Depending on how firm I push this stuff on here could determine whether or not the paint will come up or not. I think you're fine. I think we'll be fine. I'll just uh, do it nice and easy and make sure it's not too crazy. Yeah. So I'm going to take the one, two, so you can focus on the one. Mm -hmm. There and we then, go. Okay. And then I'll be here, Sean, if you need me. All right. So hang in with me. I'm hanging with the Sean. So uh, our first so one. I do have a question. Someone yes. wants to know what we think. So can you give an update on our puppy? Oh, yes. So yesterday, the 31st, um, Ma uh, Maddie. Is it Maddie? No. Me. Um, I forgot her you're first on, name. Um, I don't know if it matters, but you're on autofocus on that. So it keeps oh. autofocus. That's oh, what you're seeing. Let's see, three. Sorry, guys. Now. I just now realized what it's doing. 
So okay. anyway, Mandy, that's her name. Mandy, the mom, and dad's Levi. Mandy had, get this, 11 puppies, just like Maya did on her first group, because this is her first as well, and but it's opposite in gender. Maya had seven girls and four boys. They had seven boys, four girls. So that's what's really cool. And they did have to do a C-section because they were kind of worried about what was going on, but they're all healthy. Mom is doing great. And in a little while, we'll get to find out when we can go take a peek. Yep, and so we, someone said Blake on YouTube. Can you, um, we just got an influx of YouTube people. Can you re-explain why they only see one yes, camera? Yes, let me tell you. Hi. So what we're doing um, is that we are actually on Instagram in front of me. So my, our Insta, Kenny's Instagram, you can see the camera right here, is on me. We want to go ahead and do YouTube as well. At least they can see and we always have content on YouTube because a lot of YouTube people just want to see what we're doing. And this way we're just using the one camera right up, up above because if we did the other one, Ken would be in the way or when I'm doing it, I'd be in the way. You'd never see us in front. So we just want to do this so you can see everything right but up front. But we know that people on YouTube like to save our videos and come back to it. Yeah, so they can so, always come back. So that's why so you that's do that. So that's why you're only seeing the camera view. Mm -hmm. If you look over at Chalk Couture Ken's Creations, you could see us and we'd be good to go. So this is our fabulous trio. Fabulous, unique, fearless. And we're going to pop this baby out. It's a size B. <laughs> One, a gesundheit. I guess we can kind of see me this way. So um, as you know, when you get a, a transfer that has these lines right here, right there, that means we can cut them. And that's what we're going to do because we only need to use two of these. And then we're going to use the other one, the ampersand on the fierce and fabulous one because it's a nice big size and will look really great on the other one. So let's continue on. We're going to grab our transfer trimmers and give these things a kink. Cut. The nice thing about these, it, it's a start. You just kind of push, cut, and then push and just follow the white line. Don't even have to do that because this is kind of a fabric material. And if you went chip, 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 you might get some kind of crazy cuts on it and it might shred and you don't want that to happen. So, so we've had it before where if you cut, and like Sean says, if you cut at a jagged angle, if you accidentally lift it up, sometimes when you have a jagged angle, for like example, like a a uh, corner here it can actually create a stress point and when you lift it up it can rip it um we've lost a few transfers that way which is super sad um so did you show them where our inspiration is coming from i will show them i that. can show them that while right. you're doing this so i get a lot of our inspiration from the catalog so in the catalog they show this create a watercolor wash by adding water to any chalkology paste Paint on watercolor paper for a vibrant effect. Now, I didn't do it on watercolor paper. I did it just on these wood frames. You get these at Michael's. You can get them at Arteza. Um, I really like them. They dry quick. And we're going to basically follow this. So he's going to do unique and fabulous. Fabulous. Um, on these three colors. So the first one we're going to do is unique. So that's this one here. As we go in. So what we're going to do is going to go ahead and grab our fuzz and cloud because we want to make sure this is well fuzzed before we start because if not fuzzy, it might pull up a little paint. We don't want that to happen. Oh my gosh, you guys are so cute. So there's also some ideas for Bo. Um, we've also heard Writer. Oh yeah. We've heard, ooh, what was the first one we heard today that I was like, oh, I like that. Um. Oh gosh. It was Jill Marple was the one that she gave us a huge list because I guess they like to name their goats and kept a big long, a big uh, list of male goat names. I forget it. It was like one of the first things that I was like, oh, I really like that. What was it? Right. There was writer. Jill, are you writer. in here? It's like up on the top. Uh, it's like one of the top ones. I forget which ones. I'll look up while you do that. Yeah. So we're really excited just because um, we haven't had a boy dog for a while because, well, not for a while, but enough. And Riles does a lot better with a boy oh, yeah. dog. She's always been around boy dogs. Um, she was a pup when we lost Maya. And so um, when Hades is here, she's just so happy. But when Hades isn't here, Ryle, Cece plays with her. But if they don't have a ball, Cece's not the best playmate. No, she becomes psycho dog with a ball or anything in her mouth usually. Titus. Titus. That was a kind of really cool. I like Titus. I also like Titan. 
So he's doing this not all the way up. You can see he's doing it about three. And we're going to be using bright white. Yes. So we get a question all the time. Can you get the, um, it's in that drawer and it's the surface wax. Yes. While you get your bright white, I can explain yes. this. Yes. So many people have asked us, I'm so confused on waxing. When do you wax? Do I have to wax? Chocotour says I have to wax. We very rarely wax because we live in an area where we don't really it's dry, need to. It's dry here. Yeah. Um, however, um, we know people on the uh, West Coast or East Coast that have to like wax in between each layer. Um, technically, Chocotour will tell you you need to wax your box frames and your one-use frames. Um, we only wax if we know. It's by feel, and you'll kind of tell. But if it has a nice, silky feel to it, we very rarely wax, but I do recommend if you are going to wax, use our wax. It's so much easier to use. If you're going to do anything on poster board or anything um, that is very non-porous, you definitely want to wax. So as you know, all the new colors, especially white and a few other ones out there, this is all the new creamy, dreamy, creamy, creamy, dreamy. <laughs> Pretty which one we were going with that. Creamy, dreamy, creamy, pace. dreamy pace. And this stuff is, oh my gosh, it's so good and it's so nice. So we're going to go grab our, I think I can use our little mini squeegee yeah. for this. And now on everything, all of the paste coming out in the market is the new paste New paste formula, absolutely. So if it if you order it and it's good to go, it's the new stuff. Yep. And the stuff that's not is going to be changed over. So we're going to go ahead and just grab our stuff and just go right on here. So, Tom, um, since this is kind of one of the first times you're really utilizing it, yeah. what do you feel on this new paste? How do you feel? It's smooth. It's like the ink. The ink is so butter smooth. It's amazing. It goes on smooth. It feels smooth when you do it. I love it. It is so nice when you put it on. You cannot go wrong with it. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. So now we're going to use the beautiful detail tool with a little thing out here. This way I don't have to scratch myself or... Do that gets right up underneath and we're gonna pull straight up and now he did fuzz this i did so fuzz that. how many times did you fuzz i that? did about five times okay so well, let's go ahead and follow him oh, we're gonna watch him yeah. wash it youtube you won't see I this but i, I can nope, right. i can oh, you can there we go all right okay youtube you may not hear us but uh you'll at least watch we just all that painting, it's all right here, but don't worry about that. We don't care about that. So the first thing we're going to do is turn on some water, warm. Uh, if you have one that has a spray head like this, go ahead and do that. It's got a little more fork than the other one. We want to get the bolt of it off first without putting it down on the bottom part of the, of the tub. And this isn't as important as it if, if you were doing black, but um, well, so black will stain your water bed. I'm going to do one side, get it all off. What are you using to do that? I'm using my board eraser, getting it wet. Now we're just going to do the back side. Rinse everything off. Ooh, Liam's a cute name too. Liam. Ryder and Rigby. Okay. These are really cute names. Love it. Now we bought this at, um, it's dark over here, sorry. But this is just a drying rack we've got at Costco. And we always just dry them sticky side up. Stand up, just like that. I'm going to grab a towel. Hi again, YouTube. So for those that didn't hear, basically we washed both sides of our transfer with a board eraser. We get the bulk off um, out of running water and then use the board eraser. And let's see that. Let's see that. I'm going to give this a quick dry with the good old with quick the dry tool. Gun? No, not an embossing gun. This is Chocotour's quick dry tool. Did you switch the camera? Yeah. Awesome. Thank you. So this will be um, the nice thing. This only gets up to 150 degrees, nothing hotter because the embossing ones are way too hot. And two speeds, low and loud. <laughs> just a faster one. And we're just going to make sure that it's nice and dry. This usually on the bigger stuff, this is pretty thin lined type of uh, text. This will dry pretty quick if it's My thicker. Only complaint on the quick dry tool is it's got a short cord. It's only yeah, three, three foot. Three feet. This is so it. I wish I had a six foot, but other than that, I have to say I'm pleasantly surprised by it. I do love it. Lori said she can hear you on YouTube, which is oh, nice. crazy Good. because no one can ever hear it go on. And I'm usually so quiet. There we go. I think that's it. 
All right, let's, All right, let's see, see your masterpiece like. here. Ta -da. Oh, I'll take that, that one and we'll bring it in at the end. All right. And then you are going to do this. The next one. one is going to be the. Oh, ampersand. you're going to do the ampersand? I would do this. Okay, one okay, next. we'll yeah. do that. We'll do the ampersand left. And we're going to go dark first, dark down to white. And remember, this was the mermaid color. Mermaid tail. Mermaid tail. Um, I do use Dixie Bell paint. I love this stuff. It is great paint. Um, we, I pretty much use oh, it for gross. everything. And what I do is I actually just spray. I, uh, as if this was my surface, I literally just spray it like that and then paint it on. And it gives it that nice coverage because it is a little bit of a so thicker paint. For those on YouTube, all he does is like he put the paint here, sprayed it with the uh, sprayer, and then brought it down. Mm -hmm. It made it, it just made it thin enough because uh, Dixie Bell is a little on the thick side. So you can see while he's buzzing that here, I just put it up really thick and then grab a trip brush and slowly bring it down. Yeah. So I do a base coat in white all the way up. So you guys can see there, base coat in white. And then I put my color and then bring it all the way down. <laughs> all right, I think we're good on this. So which word are we using on this? We're doing fearless, right? Sure. Yeah, this, this is your project. You I think do you, boo. I think fearless works for us. So not all the way at the bottom. Carol says, seems all electronics being made today have such short cords. Yeah. I agree. And then, Carol, I also agree that as soon as you have all of your cords, they're like, oh, now we're going to change the format. So no longer lightning cable. Now it's USB-C or, uh, you know, whatever. It's like, gosh, can you just make up your mind? We have so many adapters for so many different cords. Now what I'm doing, just to kind of keep it from getting any way of pulling up, I'm just trying, I'm just pressing on the letters. This is just the letter part and I'm just trying to keep the area because my fingers fat enough I'm not doing this part I don't need and that. why are you not doing that part I don't need this part because there's nothing up there this is just a, a way to keep it from so pulling up. essentially if, if you were to push this all down like he's saying you will have the possibility since this is painted that it might pull yeah. up the paint so and we, we do not wax this yeah so we are just doing Bare minimum. Now you will see like Sean's very different chalking than me. I put a whole bunch on and I then spread it around. He's more detail, puts less on. And I have to say it's way better because you have less mistakes of it maybe seeping through. Um, I think chalk is a very kind of personal thing. And the nice thing about the new paste, because it is so thin or thinner feeling, you don't have to use as much. Hi, all things crafty. Hi. That's Melissa. Melissa's on her team. Yes, she is. She has an amazing YouTube channel where she makes, I cannot even believe, you guys need to check out her YouTube channel. She made these amazing home decor pieces, I think two days ago on her YouTube channel from Dollar Tree stuff. And I'm like, my mind is blown. It's absolutely gorgeous. There so we go. check her out. Look at that. Ooh, Sean, you're rocking it. Rocking, baby. So I'm going to go wash this real fast. So we, that's what we do. Be right back. Why do we wash it right away? Why is that so important? Um, because, especially on the dark ones, even though the darker colors ones, they seem to be not stain, but they do. They, they will stain your, your transfers. But we just want to, it's a way to keep them clean right away. This way we keep our, um, I didn't switch it over, that's all right. We didn't switch, uh, we didn't, um, don't want these to go bad. We want these to last forever. We want to keep them clean as soon as possible. So, I know he's jumping all over the place. He's a little nervous, guys. It's okay. So, basically what he's doing is you, you don't want to rinse it at first underneath your running water because what it will do while he does that, I'm going to show you what happens here. Let me see if I can place you guys down here. And then I'm going to show you what happens. It doesn't hurt the transfer by any means. But this is the transfer we learned our error of our ways. So this here, let me turn this around and we'll show YouTube too. This here is Beaver Falls. We did this in black and I rinsed it under running water with a board eraser. And what happens is the board eraser breaks down the paste really quick and it almost turns it into this kind of fuzz look. You can see it doesn't it doesn't affect your transfer. I could still use this, but it does stain the transfer. But we found out that if you get the bulk of it off with your hand first, 
then do it underneath running water with the board eraser. It is much better. Um, you can show that to YouTube just to yeah. show the difference. So you can see how much staining there is, but it's fine because all of this, the part that where the paste will go through is fine. It's clean. It's not a problem. This doesn't matter if it is. All right. Now this beautiful flamingo. So yeah, That's it doesn't gorgeous. matter, but it is important. The one thing I will say it's important is wash both sides. Turn it over and wash both sides. Yeah, don't have paper in your sticky part of this to be so, on there. So um, you might want to hit that with a hairdryer. It looks like it's still, well, as long as you don't get into it. Yeah, I'm not going to. Okay. So this is the Flamingo, and this is a transfer called Fierce and Fabulous. It's a B-size transfer, and he's only going to be using the ampersand, ampersand. in the center there. I'm going to let the dogs look because I can hear them whining. You are going to be an up close personal Up close view. and personal. Hi, guys. Got it? I got it. All right, YouTubers. As you know, we're going to go ahead and fuzz, fuzz, fuzz. This one obviously is going to be a little more on that board, but I think we'll be fine. I don't think we're going to have any problems with it coming up. And if Heidi is in the... Heidi Barton is in the YouTube. Thank you very much for answering questions and stuff. She's doing a great job, and I think Kim does some of the other ones. Thank you, you guys, for doing that. We have the best team, best team ever. Best. We love our Club Couture. By the way, Club Couture customers get excited because... Your quarterly happy mail has been sent out. Him and Jazzy... We're champs today, putting labels on and making sure it went out today. And our lovely mail lady, Kate, was all smiles. And if she's here, thank you. With her 220 for boxes, she was all smiles. Thank you if she's here. So, I'm super excited for you guys to get it. Leslie said, Sean, you're great at this. You should do it at least once a week. I agree. Maybe I should. So, here's the problem is when I say, Sean... I have a migraine today. It's getting bad. Here's the reason I'm not doing the live because you guys are probably like, well, you're still talking. I My migraines are light sensitive. So I'm going to show you the view normally from what we have. So when you do a live, this is our view. Yep. So it's really uh, bright lights. Yeah. I'll turn this off to really show you how bright these lights are. And it just pierces my yeah. temples and I'm in so much pain. So I said, Sean, do you want to do the project? And he goes, well, what am I doing? And they said, I'll make it really simple. Anything. And he said, you're going to have everything planned and ready, right? I so even did the painting for you. I'm going to use the angle squeegee. Oh my gosh, listen. Listen, Linda. I'm going to, I'm going to. So I'm just going to use a small one to put it on there. Sierra. Cece, what do you have? Oh. So then I'm going to use the just angle squeegee. Just suck. Can you please sit? This is what, what we have to deal with. When we take away her ball, sit. Where did you get that? Did she you has, get that out of my a, little... She has a ball of sit. twine. Come here. Sit. Come here. Okay. Sit. She got it right out of here. She Come just here. takes stuff that she just thinks is hers. She took this. See, era. Beggar. <laughs> no. And we're getting another puppy. Are we sure no. we're ready for this? Did daddy take away your twine? He's so mean. I don't know why I can't like this tool. I really want to. I really want to be there and say, ooh, this is great, but I just, you know. I love it. it it's it's bigger. I mean, look at the, the big one. Sean, bigger is not better, okay? Look how much more surface area you have. I, I think it's clunky. I think that's my problem. It's not. I thought it was perfect. It worked really well. Well, okay. when you do your project once a week, you can know. use it. All right, here we go. Grab my detail too to lift that up so I don't ruin anything. Nice and slow. We see that there is a little coming up, so I'm going to go back. So basically, can we, actually, I'm going to get this view. Can you bring right. that back up again? Because I want to yeah. show people what this is. I get this question a lot. When you're revealing it, you can see we miss some spots. Let me zoom in. As long that. as you don't reveal the whole transfer, you can just push it right back down. Yeah, right down. I'm going to use a small one for this. And you can just go right over those areas. Be very careful to watch your harsh marks. He has a yep. harsh mark right there. Right there. Um, but you can just put it right back down, lift it up. 
and then be like, oh, yeah, I got it. So. Now this has, because he used um, a different style. Of, I would put um, it on a lot thicker. Yeah. That's Since funny. he used um, the chip brush, it created more Groups. of a groove in the paint. So if you ever find that and you have more of a wood that has grooves or stuff, put your paste on thicker and just don't push as hard to remove it. It'll take a little longer to dry. We're not putting a layer on this, so this way, you should be good there. I went way too long or it's going to pull up again. There you go. I'm so happy with that. Look at that. So I'm happy these, with that. I'm happy too. There you go. Look at that. Nice job, Beautiful. Sean. We'll flop over to the. Uh, so we're gonna go clean this. And clean this again, all guys. In. We'll let you guys watch. Okay, so we'll walk you through the process. Once again, once we're gonna turn on our water, warm spray. If this was a darker color, I mean, this one you really don't have to, but we're just pretending this is a darker color. We're just gonna get that bulk amount of paste off of there, just like so. Bring this over to the side. And we do warm water, so... Warm. It doesn't have to be cold or hot. Hot may ruin it. One side, nice and clean. I don't see anything. Do our flip. And we are peachy keen. We do a quick rinse, and we're done. You have to in hand. Oh. Nice job. We'll put this on the rack. Stay out of those bins, little girl. See, see? You stay out of those bins. This is what she wants, is that. Yeah, there's a ball up there. So she sees that ball. See? Mm -hmm. See? Oop. Here. Let me put it right This here. is what she's looking at. <laughs> Okay, so um, I'm going to take this from Sean. He's going to clean up his area. Yep. Then we'll bring all and then three we'll bring in. it all in. Give me just an, uh, a moment. So what would you say on the new paste? What's your thoughts? I love it. It is really smooth and creamy, dreamy. It goes on so perfectly. I cannot complain one bit. You can, but you're not. I could, but there's no reason to. <laughs> So you'll see he is taking his time to clean our paste jars. Yep. So our new paste is creamy dreamy. It does have a longer dry time and you'll hear a lot of people say you won't even have to add water or this. I find that to be false. You still are gonna every once in a while need a couple spritz of our fine mist sprayer. You wanna use distilled water. And the big thing on this is you want to do a good job cleaning. Not because it will get clumpy, but this, this dries with a very, very slight film on it. And when you yes. stir that in, that film can make a yep. clump. Yep, it can. So I'm just gonna, this is kind of nice because of the way the consistency is, you can do this and it doesn't pop up. It gets it all down in there and I'm just gonna put a little half squirt and that's it. I'm done. Put this away and we're good to go. You really want that, don't you? Oh, she's looking at the ball. It's, you guys can't see it, but it's like right over here, over here. Let me get... <laughs> We'll zoom out a little bit here. <laughs> and this one could care less. Look at her. She could care less. There's the ball. And this one is like, um, I'm being a good girl. I'm not barking. There You're she just, is. You look so much like your daddy. You look so much like your daddy. Okay. Isn't that cute? So why did you write the names on the back? So for those who are new or not understand why I did this, because it is different. I cut it. And because I cut it, I want to make sure that did each one goes on. The camera for YouTube? Yeah, so they could see it. Oh, okay. Yes, I did that. Are you going to leave them there? Or? No, I can go back. It's up to you. So I put the words on each one because I didn't cut straight. They're not perfect and they are slightly different sizes. And by putting this on, and I know because I it's facing this way, I know this is the top. So when I put the fearless on here, it will go on just perfectly. All right, Sean, All right. we'll show, put that over there. Now we're going to hear what you did. And just think of this on a nice, beautiful wall, maybe when you're in a bedroom, maybe, or a hallway. Let me unzoom just a little more here. Look how beautiful that is. Isn't that gorgeous? 
Wouldn't love this just it. be and you, what's great about you know chocolate tours you can paint it any color you want so you yeah. could this is giving me very golden girl vibes yeah doesn't this is, it this is very florida very florida we got that nice mermaid the nice flamingo and then what was this color this one was a uh, peony yeah. so yeah definitely something that's in the uh in, down there so in the yeah down south. let's go ahead and show you uh they should for the most part they should stand up yeah they should yep uh, your unique and fearless are backwards. Oh. Yeah, since I'm... That's okay. You're so cute. Okay, look at that. This is for the... You Peeps it. at, uh... Sean, you did such a good job. Thank you very much. Did you have fun? I loved it, yeah. This was... It was it wasn't a hard one. It's easy. You, like, now, the only thing that took time was painting. Is that, sometimes, and, and this is that. what I always tell people on Chalk Couture... You can absolutely go balls to the walls crazy and do fun things where you do a hot mess and all these colors and, you know, layers and you can do all of this fun stuff. But every once in a while, it's nice to just have mm -hmm. simple. The bold colors with the white, the white just jumps off of it and you can make those custom all day with whatever colors you would want. I know. You're good. Awesome. Anything else you wanted to know, Sean, before we... What are we having for dinner tonight? Tonight, we're having chicken curry. Ooh, chicken curry. And where will we be live tomorrow? Tomorrow, we'll be on uh, Tiki Talk um, with a little drinky drinky as we go. And it's going to be awesome. What yes. have we got out there? And I can do this since we're almost done. Hi, Ubi-Tubi. What is she doing out there? I don't know. I really don't know what's going on. It's crazy. Yeah, isn't that cool? The eye is upside down. If you guys didn't notice, unique, I'm different, so I'm going to be unique. So, yes, the um, I'm making chicken curry. Um, my curry, I don't make anything curry by its, you know, homemade because that, t I, it's very, very hard to do that. You have to be a professional, professional on that. Um, a jar of it, um, whatever. And I do that as well. So I've got this camera on, so we can just oh. go off to the side. That's fine. You can come around too, or just do whatever you want. Just like this. You can show them that. No, you can show. Now you can see there's Instagram. See, they're, they're looking at me and see, I can't see myself, but it's hard. Yeah. See that? So Instagram, as soon as we're done, this gets posted to yep. our IGTV. And um, if you know anyone that's interested in Chalk Tour, definitely Please have do. them reach out to us. Um, we would love to help anyone with Chalk Tour, yeah. whether they want to be on our team, yeah. a Club Couture customer. Um, yesterday really just was one of those days watching all of our videos back. If you didn't see that, it's on YouTube. Mm -hmm. um, going back over projects that just kind of... It kind of was a nice little reset, wasn't yeah. it? Yep. It was nice. And then, um, like I said, team members, look for your email tomorrow. Yeah. Club Couture members, yes, look indeed. for not only your email, but a happy mailbox and a video explaining what's in. What's going to be in that box? Anyone on Instagram, if you go to my profile, just hit the link tree button. Mm -hmm. That will bring you to all of our links. YouTube, same thing. It's the yep. first link. We've reorganized that. Just and hit have that one right updated. down below. It's right there. Um, yeah, so it's all right there. Anything else you want to say? I to want your... to say thank you everybody for joining us. Hope to join, join us tomorrow again on TikTok. Um, Kenny should be better with a headache. I hope if not, maybe I'll do another one tomorrow. Who knows? You might be doing, I don't so I'll be doing that. You and... nailed it. I think you could do this with, with yeah. cocktails and chocolate. I think I could. <laughs> do you think you could do it if I just said, okay, you're planning it and doing it? Oh, all? that might be a little harder, but I think I could come up. <laughs> I would have to go through the booklet and see, uh, Maybe look for one of my favorite uh, uh, transfers and do it. Yes. So, all right, all right, everyone. Everybody, thank you so much. We'll see you tomorrow. TikTok, be there.